Well, a tornado wasn't strong enough to stop Easter services in the Metro East. The twister that ripped through Fairview Heights in O'Fallon two weeks ago left behind heavy damage at Christ the King Church. As WB11's Michelle and Selma reports, parishioners continue to count their blessings. The message at Easter Sunday service hasn't changed. But the venue has. Christ the King Apolistic Church held morning services at a Ramada Inn. It's the first service since a tornado damaged the church two weeks ago. From the outside, the building appears intact, but once inside, it's obvious the building's steel frame and ceiling girders are bent. Their 36-foot steeple now rests on the ground. I was in tears, and when I found out that our steeple had bent down, it, it was horrifying. The hardest-hit room is the children's room. The ceiling caved in, light fixtures and debris is everywhere. They say it could take 10 to 12 weeks before everything's repaired. Shirley Ledbetter and about 40 others were inside a choir practice when the tornado struck. The shock is still fresh. It hit, and the... They, we all just started running in the Sunday school rooms. Pastor Larry Blake says the damage inside could cost close to $200,000 to fix. The uh, estimation we were given is anywhere from $175,000 to $225,000. Brother Moses was here, uh, and he was, he was at the door, actually. He was watching the weather, and I was with him out there talking to him. And uh, everybody else was in the sanctuary. And he said the, the the sky is getting green, it looks bad. And I kind of just like, okay. And so I went back into the sanctuary, listened to music, and then I came back out. He goes, it's a tornado coming. We need to all get into the hallway. And so I alerted everybody, and we all came in down to this hallway in the church. And then we heard the tornado hit the building. And we had like 20, maybe 30 people here. It was pretty interesting. We went out, we looked at the building, we saw the ceiling tiles falling. And then um, I think Jonathan Blake went outside to the back and looked around. He saw that the, the steeple was down. And he also saw the trail of the tornado in the back of the building through the grass. He said he could see the, the path that it took. It was pretty powerful. Yes, I remember it was an awful sound. I'd never been in a tornado before. And when it hit, it was just like a roar, like, like I don't know, like a train or something. It was just a deafening roar. Uh, we pulled up, and they met us outside and said, you know, told us what had happened, and we had to go back home. This had happened, yeah. It had just happened, yeah. It was, it was pouring down rain in the house there, and it, it hesitated even to get out in it. Yeah. And it was pouring down rain. So we got in the car and drove over her, and it just, Most embarrassing, <laughs> most scary moment at CTK was accidentally flooding the front of the sanctuary. Okay, so Larissa and I were trying to, we were trying to clean something at the church and she couldn't figure out how to turn on the water. But it wasn't her fault. My hand was the one that turned the nozzle and both of us were confused. I turned off what I thought was the valve. We went on our merry way. The end of the pipe was iced over, I believe. And it, I don't know what we did wrong still. <laughs> I just know that there was water at the front on that Wednesday night. The entire platform and altar area had flooded. And everyone was coming into church saying, oh no, a pipe burst. The pipe didn't burst. You can still see the water line in the carpet. This is a picture of uh, Kay Grover and I. We did this skit for one of our pastors. I believe it was Brother Blake at that time. And we had to, what, what we're doing right here is dressing the chicken. Good big chicken. Good big chicken. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I can remember one time this little boy at the altar in the old church 
He was doing something with the tambourine while people were tearing at the altar. And he got his head inside the tambourine, he couldn't get it off. <laughs> and finally, they soaked his head with some kind of oil and got him sticked up and got the tambourine out of his head. <laughs> when Sister Camille was, it was, the, uh, was leading the choir, someone uh, wanted to audition. Okay, so you want to audition? Okay, sing. And so with a dead serious face, this person started singing, tale as old as time, beauty and the beast. <laughs> they were serious and Camille said, I was just trying to be serious with them. She said, but. sang the whole, yeah, beauty and the beast audition. Yes. Probably the thing that makes me laugh the most about memories from the church is the old She's for Christ fundraising videos with Philip Greathouse as the pie train. <laughs> They were raising money for the pie in the face auction, and um, Philip Greathouse was shown various rooms of the church going around harassing the young people to give their shopping money or their snack money, whatever it was. And uh, he, he seemed very intimidating, and if you know Philip, you know he's really not a meanie. <laughs> so I would say um, last year we were doing our children's play, and we had the toddlers dressed as different animals from Bethlehem time frame. So we had one little girl, her name is Diana, and she was dressed as a camel. And it was during one of the songs, she happened to kind of fall off the riser a little bit, and she got a reaction from the crowd. And, and the, she looked at the congregation, and she was like, oh, if I you could see the light bulb kind of come on, like if I do this again. And so she climbed back up, and she kind of slid down, and again, the congregation snickered a little bit. And all of a sudden, I was directing, and I could just see her out the corner of my eye. And she just kind of slowly slides down, and she begins to slide more than what she had already planned. And it was like, I don't know, this awkward moment, but it was so hilarious because it was so innocent and pure. The year I turned 70 on Sunday, we was out in the park somewhere having a picnic, and the church was. Donna come up and says, you want to go to the bed race? And I said, I don't know. And Shirley says, yeah. And Virginia says, yeah, we're going to the bed race. You've got to go. These girls had, these girls had a little old thing, looked like a, a surrey with fringe around it. And I mean, tell you, they're throwing us right down the street. Uh, there was a CPR training and I was chosen to be the volunteer to wear this uh, special apparatus that people can practice CPR on the person that's wearing it where they come around behind you and they go like that and if something comes out of it then you have to do the right amount of pressure or it won't come out. And so I was volunteered to wear it for everyone else to practice on during the training including uh, Kate Davis and Sister Don Terry and Sister Romai and all these people that were there and I was looking at Pastor like uh, is this okay? And he just he just laughed, and everyone everyone uh, got to practice, and I was the test dummy. So. As I look back, it's not really funny when it happened, but I did wreck the church bus, ran into a parked car. Uh, when you had to kiss the pig. Oh, that wasn't funny. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> One of the funniest things that happened uh, is in more recent history uh, when our new pastor, Pastor Romine, uh, asked the entire church uh, or, or made the statement that he was still figuring out who is regular and who is irregular. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready when you're ready, so I'll just... Okay, okay. ready? Here we go. I am cleansed. I am washed. Wait, 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 wait. That's not the way it goes. Uh, yeah. Well, I told you I wrote my own words. Oh. <laughs> We've been practicing. All right. Okay. Well, sorry. Sorry. Let's.